Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 99. That is, what is acceptance criteria? Let me answer. Acceptance criteria is nothing but a set of conditions which the application functionality should satisfy in order to be accepted by the product owner. This is what is acceptance criteria. In order to understand this statement regarding this acceptance criteria, you need to first understand the structure and example that I'm going to explain now, okay? After I explain the structure and example regarding this acceptance criteria, you will be able to understand the statement regarding the acceptance criteria, okay? So let me explain the structure first. So here you see there are multiple epics, okay? There are multiple epics, epic one, epic two, epic three, and so on. Okay, an application can have multiple epics. Who creates this epics? The product owner will create the epics, okay? All these epics will be created by the product owner. But what exactly are these epics? These epics are nothing but the higher level requirements of the application, okay? For whatever the application, the product owner is uh, deriving the requirements, right? First, the product owner will derive the higher level requirements of the entire application in the form of epics, okay? Here, each and every epic is a higher level requirement. This each and every higher, le uh, higher level requirement, that is epic, can be broken down into smaller requirements, okay? Smaller chunks of requirements known as user stories. You see, here epic one is broken further down into smaller requirements, okay? This is higher level requirement epic, whereas, Higher level requirements will be broken down into smaller chunks of requirements known as user stories, okay? In agile projects, okay? In whatever, if you're working in agile project, in that agile projects, you will get the requirements in the form of stories, okay? Which are smaller chunks of requirements which are broken down from a higher level requirement known as epics, okay? Fine. So each and every epic will be broken in, down into smaller chunks of requirements which are nothing but user stories, okay? An epic may have one, one user story, an epic may have more than one user story, okay, and so on. So the, that is what is epics and this is what is user stories, okay? User stories are the smaller chunks or requirements which are derived from the higher level requirements known as epics. All these epics and user stories will be created in the agile projects, okay, by the product owner. Who will be creating these epics and user stories? The product owner will be creating. Fine. While the product owner creates this epics and user stories for each and every user story, the product owner is going to write something known as acceptance criteria. Who is going to mention the acceptance criteria for each and every user story here? Each and every user story you see here, guys, has an acceptance criteria, right? You see the higher level requirement that is epic is broken down into user story. And for each and every user story, there is an acceptance criteria. But who has written this acceptance criteria? Who has created this epic? Who has created this user stories for each and every epic? All these activities are done by the product owner, okay? For each and every user story, the product owner will mention the acceptance criteria. So what will be there in this acceptance criteria? As you can see here in this statement regarding the acceptance criteria, what is acceptance criteria? It's a set of conditions. So what will be there in this acceptance criteria? Set of conditions will be there. You see, each and every acceptance criteria of the user story will have a set of conditions. Condition one, condition two, condition three, and so on, okay? One or more conditions will be there in the acceptance criteria of the user stories, okay? Fine. So this is what is the structure, guys, okay? This is what is the structure. Now, you got an understanding about what exactly the acceptance criteria to some extent, okay? So let me give you more, uh, more better understanding, okay? With the help of this example, I'll give you more, more better understanding for you. A realistic example I'm going to give this time. Once you have understood the structure, you will be able to understand this example. So let me open that example here. So there is an example epics, uh, there, there's an example user stories, and there is an example acceptance criteria. You'll be able to understand everything clear now. As you can see guys, okay, there is an Excel file here, uh, user story related Excel file. Here you see the first, you see a, a application, for an application, the product owner can create multiple higher level requirements known as epics, okay? The higher level requirement is epic here, epic 001. For a new e-commerce website, for example, if you talk about this application, assume that this is the application for which the product owner is creating the epics, okay? So this is an e-commerce application. For this, uh, if the product owner is creating an epic, he will create something like this. For a new e-commerce website to launch, the highest business value will be when a new user is able to register, login, 
search and purchase an item from the website okay so what will be the higher highest business value for the new user uh, on a e-commerce application the new user should be able to create an account okay here create an account register an account here after registering an account the new user should be able to log into the account okay after logging into the account the new user should be able to search for the product okay search for the product and what will be the another thing and purchase an item from the website okay so this particular product uh, the user should be able to purchase it okay add to the cart all these activities uh, will go will get added into the purchasing category okay so so like this uh, the user should be able to purchase the product with all this uh, activities will be involved in a single higher level requirement that is nothing but epic okay so this is what the epic is talking about this higher level requirement which is talking about registering an account logging searching and purchasing an item from the website can be broken down into smaller chunks of requirements known as user stories you see user story one user story two user story through three four this single higher level requirement is broken down into smaller chunks of requirements known as user stories let's understand one one by one user story here First user story is all about user story will be generally in this format guys okay as a something i want to do something so that something should happen okay as a something as a some user i want to do some action so that some result should come as a something i want to do something so that something should happen as a something i want to do something this is how the product owner will create the user stories okay who will be creating this epic product owner not the software tester guys okay product owner will create this epic and product owner will only create this user stories also you see for each and every user story mentioned here there is an acceptance criteria but who is writing this acceptance criteria in fact this entire document is created by product owner only okay this entire excel sheet uh, having the details of the epics user stories and the acceptance criteria for each and every user story is created by whom is prepared by the product owner who has written this acceptance criteria product owner only you see what does acceptance criteria contain acceptance criteria contain a set of conditions which the application functionality should satisfy okay so the application functionality should satisfy the set of conditions against this requirement of the user story right you see ensure the first time visitor is able to navigate to the register account fill his first name last name email and this what privacy policy all the details about the user story are clearly mentioned all the conditions that the application functionality should satisfy user should be able to enter the details user should be able to create the account after creating the account user should be able to log in these are multiple conditions for this user stories okay that should be achieved for this requirement okay for uh, for confirming that this particular requirement has been properly developed and tested by the software testers okay properly developed by the developers and tested by the software testers these are the set of conditions that should satisfy the application functionality should satisfy all these conditions to prove that the developer development team and testing team has properly developed and tested this particular requirement that's what is acceptance criteria product owner is mentioning this conditions here so that tomorrow when the time comes okay when the time comes where the development team and testing team has completed this work of this user story they have development team has developed this user story and uh, that is requirement of this user story and testing team has properly tested this as mentioned in the requirement okay then a time comes where this team this agile team has to demo the okay demo the Uh, work their work regarding this story to the product owner then on what basis the product owner will accept this uh, user story as completed the work has been completed the product owner will check this conditions okay that that the product owner has mentioned in the acceptance letter whatever the conditions that the product owner has mentioned while creating this user stories as part of the acceptance criteria right all these conditions should be satisfied so that then only the product owner will accept the work that is done by the development team and testing team as part of this uh, requirement okay as part of this uh, work against this requirement so now you will be able to understand this guys okay now understand what is acceptance criteria now after giving me after i explain the structure and example here it this statement is pretty easy now you see what is acceptance criteria is nothing but a set of conditions right acceptance criteria is what a set of conditions you see a lot of conditions are there written by the product owner set of conditions which who has uh, who has to satisfy these conditions the developed application functionality okay and tested application functionality should satisfy that okay set of conditions with application functionality should satisfy okay here in this case which application functionality should satisfy register account functionality should satisfy okay 
set of conditions with the application functionality should satisfy should satisfy in order to be accepted by whom who need to accept the work done by the development team and uh, testing team for this user story as part of this acceptance criteria who need to accept the work product owner in order to be accepted by the product owner so hope guys you got the answer now for what is acceptance criteria so that's all for this session the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye